Hello and welcome to New Junction. In today's episode we're going to be talking to you about wagon loads. In particular, the New Hatton's Constructor range wagon loads. I'm going to be going through all varieties that they do and showing, them, showing you how best to apply them to your layout. Also stick around because at the end I'm going to be showing you how you can win this, a wagon load starter kit. This should be loads of fun. Now in the Hatton's Constructor range, they use real crushed stone to enable you to produce a realistic and effective way to fill your wagons and also your tenders. They come in five different varieties, coal, iron ore, coke, sand and granite. And they're available in fine, medium and coarse grades. Each tub is available for £5.60 at time of filming. The coke and coal pots come in 200 grams, whereas the rest come in 400 grams. Now, I'm going to show you how to use all of them. Hopefully it's going to be of some use to someone. It's a bit of messy modelling, so it's going to be fun. So uh, I hope you enjoy. So here is a fairly standard coal wagon. As you can see, it's come pre-weathered and it comes with a plastic load. It's not the best, and we're about to dramatically improve this in under a minute. So let's see how to do it. All you need, very simple, the wagon itself, quite obviously. I'm using the Hatton's coal for this one. I need a dab of PVA and I've got myself a small brush just to put it on with. Nice and simple. So let's get on with it. So of the methods I'm going to show you this evening, this is by far the quickest. It literally involves coating the plastic top with some PVA and then sprinkling on the coal load itself. So hopefully I'm going to show you this live. I've literally got my tray of PVA, which is now not going to spread. It is quite cold in the loft tonight. As we see, we literally layer that on. Not being too wild, and there we go, we get rid of that. And using the brush, spreading it over the plastic. Again, doesn't matter about using too much. It will all dry clear and uh, the coal itself will cover the PVA. Sorry if you can't see that. So as you see, I'm just getting into all the nooks and crannies. That's about ready to go. So if I show you a close up of that, as you can see now the inside of that is completely covered in PVA. And now for the fun part. As you'd imagine, it's literally taking the Hatton's coal. I've got some uh, already in a tray here and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top. And this is the fun bit. Remember to make as much mess as possible. But if you uh, keep a sheet or something underneath, you will be able to reuse the, uh, the load itself. We just generally want to fill it up. Let that settle in, as you can see. If I zoom you in, focus you in rather, you see that's filled up and instantly it already looks 10 times better. Again, it's molding itself to the, the plastic mold that was already there. So we've got some peaks here. Um, normally what you do is you'd build it up in layers and maybe add a bit of a, a mound, but this really isn't necessary for this one. After that's settled for a few minutes, just pop a bit more in the middle, make sure there's nothing there. Leave my tray there. Once it's settled, literally tap off any excess, and away you go. You could leave it there. What I tend to do is just go around the edges with something like a cocktail stick and just scrape down all the bits that are standing up and look a tad unrealistic. You don't have to do that, but it just adds to it. And when it's dry, it tends to look a bit better because the coal wouldn't be stuck up the edges. So 
we'll just put that down there. It's worth taking your time over this. But as you can see, it's instant results. Overzealous with the glue on this side, I think it's all up the sides. There's no real wrong way to do this, so it's quite a bit of fun. And uh, <laughs> I am terrible for wanting instant results, and this certainly adds to that. So as you can see, all the, uh, the coal underneath will brush up with a brush and add back to the uh, pot. But as you can see, that looks instantly better. I will just tidy up some of the edges again with the uh, cocktail stick, but for now, that's absolutely fantastic and instantly improves this model. Now imagine a full rake of those. So as you can see, I've gone on to the rest of my coal wagons. These are all the ones with the plastic pre-moulds already in them. This is great because it literally takes a pinch of the coal load, and I think you'll agree they're 10 times better now. A slightly different approach is needed if you've got other wagons, such as this Millam Ironworks Hopper, because it doesn't have a plastic preload already in place. If I can get the camera focused. So a slightly different approach is needed. Luckily, Hattons do have the answer with their wagon load kit. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. So here we have one of Hattons wagon load kits. This is the 400 gram sand starter kit, and I'm gonna show you now what comes in the box. The first thing, as you'd expect, are the instructions, which is very welcome and very nice to have. The next thing that comes in the box is three sheets of cardboard. Now, it's not just any old flimsy cardboard, it's really quite tough stuff, very strong. As you'd expect, you get two syringes because there'll be some gluing involved. And being the sand kit, you get your 400 grams of sand. Now in these kits, the sand you get with them is the same amount as you would in one of the small pots. So you won't go wanting. I'm gonna take a few aspects of this kit now and show you how to fill the hoppers I mentioned earlier. So next on the jobs list, I'm going to be filling up all my small hoppers. My Millen Ironworks hopper is going to have some iron ore in it. The British Industrial Sands hopper is going to have, you guessed it, sand in it. And I've got a Baldwin Coke wagon, which is going to have coke in it. This isn't to be mistaken with the coal load. It's actually much smaller and much more matte in colour. The coal is quite shiny. So I'm going to show you how to do those now. So for this next bit, you treat it very much as if you're laying ballast on a baseboard. Very simply, you mix 50-50 mixed together in a small pot of water and PVA, along with a dash of fairy liquid. Mix that in together, and then you add your wagon load to the wagon itself, and then using the syringe out the wagon pack, you then uh, syringe the mixture into the wagon. Hopefully that works, and that's what I'm gonna have a go at doing now. So here we are all ready to go. I've got my pre-mix glue ready, the hopper ready, and I've got my iron ore ready. Very simple process. First of all, I'm gonna crack the iron ore tub and I'll pour some in my hopper. Again, just gently. It doesn't really matter if it goes everywhere because this is modeling, it's meant to be messy. I'll try and uh, 
keep it as a mound in the middle ever so slightly shake it just to narrow it down a bit it will go down with the uh, glue anyway so that's that there so what I'm going to do next without knocking the camera start drawing up the liquid with their syringe provided and just like ballast add it to the hopper and I'm adding this nice and slowly because I don't want the uh, A the shape to run or B I don't want the glue everywhere you just want to cover it like you would ballast so there's no dry areas the reason you add the fairy liquid is to break the water tension and then therefore it should sink through the ballast with no trouble at all oh there we go you can see the air coming out of it now That should be plenty it's just enough just to hold it in place so what i'm going to do now is let that dry and i'm going to get on with the others so here we are with the sand hopper the same is going to apply except this one's in a bag i'm just going to poke a tiny tiny hole in the corner of the uh, sand bag and then i'm going to pour that in Try not to get it everywhere. Blocked up a tiny bit. Like it wanted to come out, and no, it doesn't want to come out anymore. I'm resisting the urge to make a bigger hole. Again, I'm trying to keep it fairly stereotypical. You often saw these wagons with two mounds and with a smaller hole in the bag, you can pour it so you can create the two mounds. Which is quite a nice effect. Whether I can still keep that once I've added the glue is another matter, but same as before. Just add the glue in nice and gently. Now being sand, it might, uh, might be very tricky to get this one uh, to dry properly. Just if you can cover the absolute top mound, we're laughing, that's half the battle. Because then it should keep its shape. Watching the wagon doesn't overflow, of course. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to let that settle and hopefully sink in a bit more. You can see the air bulbs already starting to come out of it. This might take a lot because it's sand. I'm going to let that, uh, as I say, settle down. And I've got three more of these to do, or two more of these, I should say. There's three in total, and then we'll let them all dry. But for now, I'm going to let this dry and get on with the Coke wagon. Now you should be used to the order of process now. Here we have the coke load. It's finer and duller than the coal. I'm gonna fill the wagon up. Ooh, a little too much there. Nice and simple. Now 
then back to the trusty syringe for some more of the PVA mix. I've got to watch this one, like the sand, there's a lot. I've got to watch this one, like the sand, there's a tendency for the glue to bead over the top rather than soak in. So it might just take a while. Slowly adding it, slowly getting it saturated. But we'll get there. If it doesn't want to go, gently tap. That'll help it. take a while to settle. While that's soaking in, I'm going to get on with the rest of them and I'll come back to you and show you the progress. And just like that, they're all filled. Now I think you'll agree it's made for an absolutely stunning change. It's so simple and yet it's changed my wagon's appearance tenfold. I can't wait for these to dry out overnight and get them running on my heritage line on the layout. So the small wagons themselves don't actually take that much media to actually fill them up. However, if you wanted to try and use less, or you wanted to keep them interchangeable or just removable, this is where the cardboard comes in that comes in the wagon load kit. Now, as I said before, it's not just plain cardboard, it is very strong. Um, and literally, all you do is you cut out a square, which will then match the theoretical wagon. And then outside of the wagon, you basically cover that square with the wagon load and make one. Um, and literally once it's dry, you pop it in your wagon and away you go. Very simple. So generally speaking, these wagons cost less than £10 each. It doesn't take much persuasion to go at them with PVA glue and washing up liquid. However, if you're using something more substantial, such as this Batman HHA, which have a retail value of about £55, um, it's not something you want to rush into. However, hopefully what I'm going to show you next is how easy and simple it is to fill them with a, with a coal load, in particular for this one, and hopefully give you the confidence to try it yourself. with the huge Freightliner hopper. Now if we filled it up in a similar manner to how we did the small wagons, you'd soon get through your tubs of coal load. So what I've done is I've cut up the cardboard that comes with the wagon kits into small squares and rectangles and I'm literally going to layer that up on the inside of the hopper. So if I turn that over you can see it's already starting to fill up with them. All that does is take up all the space in the bottom half of the hopper meaning you only have to fill the top with the coal load itself. So I'm going to continue now and fill this up and then add the coal in. And there we go. All the cardboard bits are now in the hopper, just lightly placed, no glue or anything. So I'm going to take my pot of coal, crack open the lid and I'm going to start pouring very gently. I'm doing this backwards on camera, so we'll see if this works. nice and gently. Just want to slightly cover the cardboard creating or trying to create realistic mounds as if it's been loaded from the top properly. I think that looks really smart. So, as before, 
time to get my 50-50 PVA mix with a good helping of washing up liquid I'm going to start syringing it in so as before take the syringe straight on top doing it nice and gently so we can keep the mound shapes And there we go. Now it's time to let that dry as before and we'll see how it looks. So last on the agenda today are these aggregates wagons. Now these are slightly different because although they're a hopper like the previous one they don't have any baffles in the middle. So where the previous one had baffles you had to use smaller bits of cardboard. Uh, on this one you can use longer strips it only takes a couple to fill. So it's about two of those. And just like that, you've got yourself a base to then put the granite load in. Nice and easy. There we go. Now I've got uh, three or four of these that need doing, so I'm going to get on with those now and we'll see how they look. And there we go. I've now got four trains through a simple addition, now have wagon loads in them. And I've got to be honest, it makes an absolutely monumentous uh, change to the actual wagons themselves. Obviously those four at the back are still drying. Again, this is all thanks to the Hatton's constructor range, and I've been reviewing the loads range this evening. I should point out this wasn't a freebie, I did have to buy these, but I want to say thank you to the guys at Hatton's um, for getting these out to me so quickly. I think you'll agree if, if what you've seen tonight, it's extremely easy to add them to a wagon, and uh, hopefully um, you'll agree it makes the world a difference. So I'm now going to get on and uh, play with these new trains I've got these new personalised trains and um, hopefully you'll see me in the next one but before that we'll go over to how you can win your very own wagon starter kit so hopefully you'll agree this has been a rather fun video it's definitely been a fun one to make now for your chance to get involved you yourselves can win this wagon load starter kit this is the 200 gram coal pack all you have to do to be in with a chance to win this is in the description tell me which wagon you'd convert and why and also I want you to click on the link in the description. That's all. The winner will be announced on the next New Junction update, which I think is next Friday, I believe. So otherwise, I'm now going to go and uh, enjoy my trains running. Thank you very much for watching as ever. If you like this kind of thing, um, do let me know down below. Let me know your comments, your feedback. If you've done it already, let me know. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to go and enjoy my trains running. So thank you very much. Take care now, guys.